Hi, this is Jonathan Victor. I'm going to use a video for teaching purposes thanks to the tools provided by TED Ed. Here I am at ed.ted.com. The first step is to find the video that I want to use. The biggest choice is I can choose a video directly from TED Ed. Those would be these videos around here. Or I can search on YouTube. I'm going to explain more about the choice between those two later on. But for now, I'm going to go to YouTube, and I'll search for something in which I'm interested. Here's a good video for it. And now I can watch the video. But what I really want to do is use it for teaching purposes or flip it. There we go. All right, so here I have a screen where I can edit the title, an introduction, I can ask some thinking questions. Some, I can provide some resources for people to learn more. And I can give some questions about closing thoughts. So let's start filling this out. To save time, I wrote up some of my questions in a Word document. I'll paste a few in. As I'm going, let me explain a few differences between choosing a video from YouTube and choosing a video from directly from TED Ed. If I go from TED Ed, any video I select will automatically have a few questions already built in. If I go from YouTube, I'm creating the questions from scratch. Now if I'm doing TED Ed, I can also get rid of the built-in questions and I can also modify questions and still add my own. As far as I can tell, that's the biggest difference between TED Ed and YouTube in terms of where you find your video. Alright, so I think I've just finished all of my think questions. Let me check here. That looks good. Let's go to Dig Deeper. I want to provide some resources. You can learn more about Scratch. You can learn more about another system called Arduino. And you can learn more about flipped instruction. How could you use videos for teaching purposes? The Dig Deeper section is pretty similar to the Think section, but it lets you put in links, and it has some tools up here to make you put your links in. Let's make sure that all came out OK. Great. And if you don't want a section, you can click Exclude. Maybe I'll do that for time purposes for the wrap-up section. I'll exclude that. Now we're ready to publish.